Yep. Another keyboard. Now this time we are reviewing the E Element Z88 RGB 60% mechanical keyboard with Otemu red switches. Now let's get unboxing. Can I open this? Oh, right here. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's so much tape here. I don't even know what's happening. Wow, it's not packaged. Okay, let's move that to the side. Alright, so got those. Keyboard itself. Now this is already is this removable? Oh it is. It's not a type C cable. Hmm, okay. Got the Altena Red Switch keyboard for right here. The USB port cable. This box to the side. Alright, so got this. Keycap puller. Key switch puller. And four extra Pokemon Red switches. Back to the side. Got the keyboard itself. These are pretty loud. Oh, Tunnel Red, that's pretty loud right here. As you guys can see. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright. Um, so, this one is like a. I don't know. I don't know why they call this a 60% when it has like the these function keys, the arrow keys, and the F keys. Like. Usually 60% keywords don't have that. Okay, um, now I will show you the colorways and I'll plug it in, guys. This keyboard itself is pretty good, but um, I will get to the typing test soon, but the, okay, so let's take this out. Now you can take out the key caps or the key switches. It's really easy to take out. I say that, but I can't take it out myself. All right, so keyboard is over here. The LED and this one you can literally just snap it back right like that just like that and it'll be working like it's brand new anyway let's get into a typing test
so overall, this keyboard is really good. You know, the Otemu Reds, which is like an off-brand version, like a Chinese version of the uh, Cherry MX switches. But there is like downsides, okay? You guys hear that little metal ting? Now, this is a $50 keyboard, which is, you know, it's a good price for a 60% uh, mechanical. But if it's 50 or about 50 to $60, they made, I mean, I guess, hmm. The bottoms, I don't know if they're made out of aluminum. I think they're made out of metal. Yeah, the bottom is plastic. So, maybe it's because of that. You know, they did a pretty good job. I really do not like the printing of these. I just like, you know, just like good printing. You know, Otemo Reds are not that loud. But overall, this keyboard's pretty good. I say it's a good budget keyboard for $50. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll make sure to put the link in the description for you guys to check it out for yourselves. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Let's get to six likes, guys. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make it gray, guys. That's when you know you have subscribed. Also, if the, and then also press the notification bell to get notified whenever I post another video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time. Peace.